So the predominantly used propellant is 134A. You've largely seen that in your air conditioning systems, in cars and other stuff. So it has a very large industrial footprint, which therefore means that it's cheap and historically readily available. In the case of 227EA, that is more expensive and is used for more niche applications, whereby 134A you know, has not been successful in producing a, a stable product. There's, there's two strands really to legislation in terms of impacting PMDI. So we have FGAS. So this is really looking at the GWP impact of propellants. And this therefore means there's a, a phase down FGAS materials uh, and therefore a, a driving a transition towards lower GWP alternatives. In addition, there is PFAS legislation, which impacts propellants and some of the materials that are used there for, therefore to make propellants. So green propellants are propellants with a lower GWP than, than the incumbents. So if you take 134A, that currently has a GWP of um, 1,430 and 227EA uh, and I watered 3,600, whereas green propellants generally have a GWP of less than 150. So there's, there's two on the table. Um, there is 152A um, and 1234ZE. So Kindeva is has formulation capability for developing um, with both 152A and 1234ZE, and also is investing in manufacturing capability to be able to manufacture both propellants. So in terms of 152A, that has additional challenges over previous generation propellants because the increased flammability and therefore requires different infrastructure in order to be able to manufacture with it.